Algebra 2, Lesson 18, Ratio of Word Problems and Similar Triangles. Alright, beginning on Practice A. We have two ratio word problems and one similar triangle problem. It tells us the ratio of malefactors to good guys, or the ratio of M to G, was 3 to 11. If there were 350 individuals investigated, how many were malefactors? So let's begin by writing our three ratios. Uh, the first ratio is going to be 3 to 11 which is M to G. So that's part A to part B. So the second ratio will be part A, which would be 3M, to the total, which is 14. And the third ratio would be 11, which is part B, to the total, which is 14. Again, we get the total number by adding part A and part B. Now, if we go back to the problem, uh, since they tell us the ratio of part A to part B was 3 to 11, then we know that those are parts. Now, what they tell us after that is that there's 350 individuals investigated. So that's giving us the total. So 350 is our total number, and they want to know how many are M, or malefactors. So we have to look back at our ratios and figure out which one deals with the total and the M. Now, well, that would be this ratio right here. So that's the one we're going to use. So we take 3 to 14. And then we're going to plug in our number 350. 350 represents the total. So 3 over 14 is equal to x over 350. From here, we cross multiply to solve. Uh, this helps us rewrite our equation as 14x equals 3 times 350. Divide each side by 14. Um, we can see here that 7 goes into 35 and 14 evenly. Uh, 7 will go to 14 two times, 7 goes into 35 five times, then we bring that 0 up to make it 50. Uh, 2 can go into 50 evenly, 1, and that becomes 25. So then we just get x equals 3 times 25, or 75. So that's our answer for A. Not too hard. Now B can be a little bit more confusing. Uh, they've got it took 800 kilograms of sulfur to make 4,000 kilograms of the new compound. How many kilograms of other material would be required to make 5,000 kilograms of the new compound? So let's start with this first sentence and pull our three ratios out. They say it took 800 kilograms of sulfur to make 4,000 kilograms of the new compound. So what they tell us here is one part and the whole. So our first ratio of 800 of sulfur to 4,000. 4,000 4, is actually the total because 4,000 is the new compound. So if 4,000 is the total, we have to subtract to find the other part. Uh, so 4,000 minus 800 gives us 3,200 over 4,000. So that is the other stuff. We'll represent that with an O to the total. And then the last ratio would be 800 to 3200 which would be sulfur to other stuff now let's look at the second sentence to see which ratio we'll need to be using they want to know how many kilograms of other material so that we're going to be using O, other stuff would be required to make 5,000 kilograms of the new compound so the new compound being the total so uh, we're going to have to use this ratio right here other stuff and the total now we don't have to use this ratio so largely, we can reduce it. We can cancel out those zeros, and then 32 and 40 are both divisible by 8. So that reduces to 4 over 5. So we'll use the ratio of 4 over 5. And, uh, let's, sorry, let's go over here. 4 over 5. And they tell us that the new compound is going to have a total of 5,000 kilograms. So if the new compound has 5,000 kilograms, uh, we have to find out the amount of other stuff. We do that by cross multiplying. We get 5x equals 4 times 5,000. Divide each side by 5. That cancels. That becomes 1,000. 4 times 1,000 is 4,000. And that's our answer for that. Now the very last problem is dealing with similar triangles and scale factors. Uh, I've got this drawn on my paper here, so I don't have to draw my book. But they give us these two similar triangles and tell us to find the length of A and 
B. We know these triangles are similar because they have three equal angles. Now we have to find the corresponding parts, which would be 4 and 9, 5 and A, 6 and B, and figure out how to convert them. So we use a scale factor. 4 times a scale factor would equal the length of 9. So to find out what the scale factor is, we just divide by 4. <coughs> and voila, the scale factor is 9 over 4. So if we want to find out what side A is, all we have to do is multiply 5 times the scale factor of 9 over 4. So let's take 5 over 1 times 9 over 4. That gives us 45 over 4. So A is equal to 45 over 4. And then for B, we'll do the same thing. Take 6 over 1 times 9 over 4. Uh, these can actually cross cancel. That'll become 2, that'll become 3. 3 times 9 is 18. 18 over 2 reduces to 9. So then B equals 9. So A is equal to 45 over 4, and B is equal to 9. <coughs>